Okay, so um, in this video, I'm going to kind of go over what my new goals are for 2017 um, and what I'm doing to kind of reach those goals. First, I'm going to spend some notes over here. Um, first of all, I spent the first couple months of 2017 focusing exclusively on French. This has been like the longest on and off again experience situation I've been tangling with French since I was like a sophomore in high school I think maybe in a freshman that was at least 10 years ago mind you I learned nothing in high school zero after French one I literally only knew aujourd'hui and I probably half the time couldn't even tell you what that meant I don't even know. It's, uh, it was very bad. Um, French 2, you know, God bless my teacher, but I was, not just me, it wasn't just me. This is like my whole class from the previous year. We were all just like, it was, it was like climbing Everest to teach us French. It just didn't work. You know, um, fast forward to college, tried it once in freshman year, and the teacher suggested that I should probably drop out of the class. So yeah, that didn't go too well. But eventually, you know, I don't want to harbor or belabor the old points. Eventually, I start to really get a grasp of the language, and it's because I kind of had to. Um, to graduate, I actually needed to pass an upper, or what they consider to be an upper intermediate level of French. And it was a struggle. I definitely a struggle because I waited to basically my senior year to take French again. But, you know, I'm here now, about five years removed from college with a degree. I don't use it, but <laughs> a degree nonetheless. And, you know, I, a motivation to continue learning this, this language, you know? Um, it's a new year, new goals. What I'm doing this year is I'm focusing only, at least the first three months, I'm only focusing on speaking, you know, comprehending what's coming to me and producing the best sentences I can produced to go back to whatever came to me. Um, so what I'm using as my main, um, as my main really structured learning tool is the method slash text slash audio system known as Glossica. I recorded a review of Glossica a few minutes ago. Um, so that will be on my channel probably before this video gets uploaded. It's a great, great, great resource. Um, I think probably, probably the best for what I'm particularly doing, you know. It doesn't give you the, the structure as like an Aussie mill or a teacher self, but for when you get to the point where I'm at now, where, you know, speaking and, you know, understanding is your highest priority i think glossica is a must-have um to kind of go along with that whole glossica um speaking uh, i don't know thing we're gonna call it we're gonna call it a thing for right now <laughs> to go along with that whole thing i'm doing meetups slash using the website i talk i I'm trying to go to meetups more just because of you get to meet real people in front of you. We all live in the same city and, you know, things can go off from there. But I want to do meetups not too often. I'm thinking trying to do one. I should go to one once a week, but I don't feel like I'm, I'm learning at a rate 
right now to where once a week warranted. I don't want to see the same people and, you know, talk about the same stuff. I want to be able to, like, really advance the conversation, you know, when I come there, really be able to, like, flex some new material, if you will. So I'm thinking meetups twice, uh, I guess, every other week. Or if not, maybe go to one once a week, but uh, alternate between different meetups to kind of like see new faces, hopefully. And even if I'm practicing the same material, at least the people I'm practicing it with won't be bored or have heard it before. Um, another thing I'm doing is listening to radio, the radio in French. I really, I really kind of got into that the last couple of weeks, especially at night when I'm really just like sensory overload. Like I'm a photographer, so I'm shooting all day, every day. And then I'm on YouTube, you know, because I would get home, try and decompress, get this, you know, what have you. And I'm, I love music. Um, that's another part of this channel. And I really kind of got into French radio in particular, not, not Spotify, but like, radio because I like the, the DJ coming in and giving their little spill and you know really trying to grasp that in so that's that's becoming my my late night vibe in addition to radio I, I do try and listen to French news I like that just because current events you know why not um, they're using formal language um, and normally they're speaking Not super crazy, you know. You know they have uh, really normally really clear pronunciation, so that's kind of keeping me at this point. Hopefully, in the near future, it won't matter the, I guess the um, the uh, the dialect or the accent. I should say the accent of the speaker. But right now, I'm trying to really like focus in and get great material in. So those are the main things, and I also I have this little grammar book. I don't have it with me for some reason. I can't find it, which looks sounds bad, but I do use it a lot. Or I, I have it with me a lot. But another one that I have in my possession is um, this. I had it, got this back in college. It's great. Um, I actually like this better than the other book, and I'm, but the other one is just great for carrying it around with me. I can just fit into like a, a jacket pocket and it's like, you know, it's literally like the size of my phone, maybe a little shorter. So, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, the next three months in particular, hopefully I can do an update video once a week. I, there's no point in flooding YouTube with me because I'm not even sure what I'm going to put in these videos just yet. But I definitely want to start the year off and explain what I'm doing how I'm doing it, and what my goals are. Um, if you want to kind of like sync up with me right now, I'm on Glossica, I think 32, 33, I think. I skipped some days just to kind of like do some reviews. Um, but yeah, I'm doing like two files a day. So I guess two of their um, uh, GSR files a day, give or take. But um, yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions, you know, supportive words, uh, definitely put them in the comments below. And as always, uh, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of new content coming. Hopefully I can make it informative. You know, I mean, these particular blogs, I guess, won't be necessarily informative, but there's definitely a way to connect with other people learning the language or just learning a language. You know, you really get to kind of get that community going, that supportive system. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you again. All right.